It's also about how we do what we do. So yes, it's about you know, living our place in the world, being socially active, being politically active, um, being active in the world, but it's also simply about the manner in which we do things. You know, I, I sometimes people say, well, you know, is there a Catholic way to do things? Well, yeah, there's a Catholic way to do some things, I and mean, there's not a Catholic way to make your bed, other than first thing in the morning, right after you get up, otherwise it doesn't get enough. But being a Catholic is something we do 24-7. I mean, it's one of those unfortunate things we're not Catholic just for an hour on Sunday. I was listening to a talk recently. Um, it was a talk from Seek back in January. And um, Pat Lencioni was the speaker, and he told the story of having read an article in the Harvard, Harvard Business Review in which it was talking about marketing and, and the way consumers self-identify. And what it said was, when you go to church on Sunday, you're not identifying as a Cubs fan. And when you go to the baseball game, you're not identifying as a Catholic. I hope that's not true. I hope that's not true. I mean, sure, when we're at the baseball game, we're not there because we're Catholic. But I hope that when we're at the baseball game, we don't in our mind think we cease to be Catholic. Because we don't. So part of being a missionary disciple is about precisely, it's about how we live our faith in our day-to-day -day life. You know, it's about being in the lunchroom when somebody says something that's sort of attacking or demeaning of the Catholic Church and having the courage to stand up and correct them. And yes, sometimes it will be explicitly witnessing to Christ. But more often than not, it's simply allowing our faith to be on display publicly. 